Hi, in this tutorial, we are going to see how to get started with Matter Protocol using YesBIDF framework. So, in our previous video, we have seen about what is Matter Protocol, Espressif's Matter Solutions, and related theory. We've also seen how to use web based ESP Launchpad tool to program and run Matter Lite application on ESP32 C3 and C6 development boards. Using the web-based launchpad tool is a quick approach to get started with Matter Protocol. But using that method, you can't develop custom Matter solutions or project. Also, you can't edit or configure the source code. Therefore, in order to get hands-on with full-fledged Matter development environment, we need to set up Matter Software Development Kit. As we know, Espressif's SDK for Matter is the official Matter development framework for Espressif's ESP32 series SOCs. So in this tutorial, we will see how to set up ESP Matter SDK, the Matter development environment in Ubuntu OS. And then we will use ESPIDF's command line based bare metal approach to program Matter sample applications into ESP32 C3 and C6 dev boards. So, Let's get started. Please note, this tutorial is divided into two parts. In this first part, we will see how to install, set up, and configure ESP Matter SDK in Ubuntu OS. Then in next part, the part two, with the use of ESPIDF via command line approach, we will see demo of how to program two different ESP32 boards with MatterLite application firmware. We will program these ESP32 boards as Matter accessories or end devices. To get the official documentation about Espressif's SDK for Matter, in web browser, you have to search query like this. You will see the Espressif Systems website. You can see this very first documentation link. Go to that link. This is the Espressif's official documentation for SDK for Matter. So, you'll see extensive information in this guide. As they said here, Matter is a unified IP-based connectivity protocol that is designed to connect and build open, reliable, and secure IoT ecosystems. This new technology and connectivity standard enables communication among a wide range of smart devices. Matter supports IP connectivity over Wi-Fi, Thread, and Ethernet. Espressif's SDK for Matter is the official Matter development framework for Espressif's ESP32 series SOCs. We have seen enough theory about this in our previous videos. You can refer them for more details. You can also refer this guide to know more about Matter SDK Programming Guide. Then in Introduction section, here are Espressif Matter Solutions, Matter Ecosystem, Espressif Matter Platforms, details about SDK like APIs and commonly used peripherals, tools and utilities for security, manufacturing and production, etc. Then you can also refer this guide about Matter and ESP Rainmaker integration. So we have seen about this in our previous videos and tried this web-based ESP Launchpad tool to program ESP Rainmaker and Matter applications. Now let's go forward and see actual development with the SDK. For that, first we have to install and set up the ESP IDF. So as they said here, this section talks about setting up ESP IDF. In our previous video, we have already covered this part. You can refer that video for step-by-step -step guide about how to install and set up the ESPIDF in Ubuntu OS. If you haven't set up ESPIDF on your system yet, then we suggest you to refer that video and come back to this video later. Now, let's move forward and go to section of ESP Matter Setup. Here we have to select our target SOC. Let me show you. So here, if you're using specific SOC, like for example, in our case, ESP32 C3, we can select documentation and guide specific to it by going into this dropdown option. Currently it is set to ESP32, but you can select according to your board, like C3, C6, H2, etc. So we'll select ESP32 C3 and you can see related guide will get loaded. Okay, so we will now use this guide as a reference. Here in Matter Setup, 
as they say here. There are two options to set up ESP Matter. You can select one according to demand. First, ESP with Matter repository, including ESP Matter SDK and tools, like for example, Chip Tool, Chip Cert, Zap Tool, etc. Second option is ESP Matter component, including ESP Matter SDK. Here you can see the second option is still in experimental phase. So we will go with first option only, that is ESP Matter repository. For that, first we need to install some prerequisite for Matter. Install dependencies. To get them, let's open this link in new tab. Here on this GitHub page, which is nothing but chips, that is the connected home IP's main repository page. Here, to install prerequisites on Linux, like on Debian-based Linux distributions such as Ubuntu, these given dependencies can be satisfied with this single command. If you have other OS, you go further down here in this guide, like for Mac OS and so on. Okay, for our Ubuntu distro, let's copy this command and paste it in terminal to execute it. For that, let me open the terminal and arrange it side by side with guide window so that we can easily refer it. And you can also see the executions of commands and their related real-time results on terminal. All right, now let's paste the command in terminal and execute it. We will do it in our system. You just follow along. Before running prerequisites packages, you must update and upgrade your operating system. Let's run sudo app get update. Okay, now prerequisite got installed successfully. Let's get back to our previous guide. Next step is cloning the ESP Matter repository. So as they said here, cloning the ESP Matter repository takes a while due to a lot of submodules in the upstream connected home IP. So if you want to do a shallow clone, use the following command. First, let's source the ESP IDF. Use these commands and follow along. Then clone the repository. Please note, this is a shallow clone. After you clone the repository, go into the ESP Matter directory and initialize the required Git submodules. Then, Navigate to the connected home IP directory and run a Python script to manage submodules for specific platforms. This script updates submodules for both ESP32 and Linux platforms in a shallow manner. Next step is installation of Matter. So here, return to the ESP Matter root directory, then run the installation script. This script will install additional dependencies specific to the ESP Matter SDK. This will take some time. We will fast forward the video. Okay, so you can see in terminal log that Matter is got installed successfully. 
Now next step is to configuring the environment. So, this should be done each time whenever new terminal get opened. Using these commands, then you can also opt for enable C cache for faster IDF builds. C cache is a compiler cache. Matter builds are very slow and takes a lot of time. C cache caches the previous compilations and speeds up recompilation in subsequent builds. So you can use this command to enable it. And as they said here, above all things can also be added to your shell's profile files, like for example, .profile, bashrc, Z profile, etc., according to your OS platform, to enable C cast every time you open a new terminal. So, in our case, for Ubuntu distro, we will configure bash RC file. We will add aliases for quick access to the ESP matter development environment. We will do it in our system. You just follow along and replicate on your system. Okay, let's do it. Open your terminal and use a text editor to open the bashrc file located in your home directory. You can use nano or any other editor you prefer. Scroll down to the bottom of the bashrc file and add these lines. After adding the lines, save the file and exit the text editor. If you're using Nano, you can save by pressing Ctrl O, hit Enter to confirm, and then press Ctrl X to exit. Then for the changes to take effect, you need to reload the bashrc file. You can do this by sourcing the bashrc file or closing and reopening your terminal window. Now you can run get matter and set cache commands to set up or refresh the ESP matter environment in any terminal session. Now finally, here comes very interesting part, building applications. So here are some examples of matter applications they have mentioned, like matter light, light switch, zap light, and so on. Among which we're going to use famous matter light example. So. Once the matter environment is configured, we can now compile and upload the sample applications. But before going into actual implementation, let me show you the setup diagram and inform you about the prerequisite of this experiment. So as shown in here, this is hardware setup for a matter light application. We are using ESP32 C3 and C6 development boards which will be connected to laptop running Elubuntu 22.02 with ESP IDF and Matter SDK installed onto it. We will also use Matter enabled smart speakers like Amazon Echo Dot or Google Home Mini. Then we should have smartphone with Alexa or Google Home app. All hardwares will be connected to home Wi-Fi router. Okay, so dear student and hobbyists, please note, 
Even if you do not have the smart speakers like Amazon Echo Dot or Google Home Mini, you can still go with this experiment. Don't worry, there is a workaround. So in case of Alexa, to set up, control, and commission Matter devices using Amazon Alexa app, their Matter-enabled hub devices are mandatory, so like smart speaker Echo Dots or Echo Flex devices. And in case of Google, for default Google Home app, which comes in Play Store or App Store, here, this message comes or pop-ups when you try to add Matter device. It says, you need a hub for Matter to set up and control with Google Home. So, the smart devices like Google Home Mini Smart Speaker, Nest Hub Display or Nest Wi-Fi Pro, etc., act as a Matter hub for Google Home. So, if you have any of these hub devices are available in your home, then it is well and good. But for students or hobbyists who have not privileged to get hands on these devices, there is way with which you can still perform this experiment. So for that, you need to install one sample developer app by Google, which is Google Home Sample App for Matter. It does not require any hub device for setup Matter system. Later on in this video, we will explain how you can install this app and how you can commission and control the Matter Lite application. So without wasting more time, let's start and flash the Matter Lite application on our ESP32.